All right, hello guys. So this will be the second part of our discussion on home office, branch, and agency accounting. In our previous video, tapos na tayo sa accounting for agency. Nag-discuss na lahat ng kailangan ma-discuss when it comes to accounting for agency transactions. Dito naman sa video natin, general procedures on accounting for home office and branch transactions tayo. Okay? Sige. Oh, sabi natin sa previous video natin, si branch ay isang independent entity. Pero, under siya sa control ng home office. Unlike sa agency, hindi uh, hindi independent ang agency. No? So, kung ano ang utos ng, ng home office sa kanya, yun lang ang gagawin ng agency. Unlike sa branch, nakakapag-operate siya on its own, but subject to the control of the home office. Okay? Next, the home office and its branch maintain their own accounting records and they prepare their own financial statements. Okay? Hindi nagagawa ng agency yan. Si branch nakakagawa ng ganyan. Next, lahat ng transactions ng branch, i-record yan of course, no? regardless kung sino ka-transact niya, whether outsiders or si home office mismo. Pero, mas magpo-focus tayo sa transactions between the home office and the branch. Di ba? Doon tayo magpo-focus. Kasi yung manner of recording transactions with outsiders, na-discuss na yan sa intermediate accounting nyo. Ngayon, focus natin, how do you record or how do you account the transactions between home office and branch? Okay? Next. <coughs> Saan natin nire-record ang mga transactions between home office and branch? Dito sa tinatawag nating reciprocal accounts. Sa so next slide, makikita natin kung ano-ano yung mga reciprocal accounts na yan. Okay? Then, at the end of the reporting period, lahat ng accounts ni home office at ni branch ay i-combine. Therefore, mayroon tayong dito ang tinatawag na combined financial statements. Alright? Hindi pwede, hindi pa pwede na mag na separate ang financial statements ng home office at ng branch for annual reporting purposes. Okay? Dapat combine yan into one. Kasi ang home office at si branch, iisang kumpanya lang talaga yan. Okay? Sa mata ng batas, iisang kumpanya lang ang home office at ang branch. Gets? Okay. Next. There are two reciprocal accounts. Branch current or tinatawag din siyang investment in branch and home office current. Tandaan, ang branch current nakikita lang natin yan sa libro ng home office. Ang home office current naman makikita natin yan sa libro ng branch. Hindi pwede magbaliktad yan guys ha. Hindi pwede magbaliktad. Okay? Next. As to classification of accounts, branch current is treated as a long-term investment. That's why naka non-current asset siya. Okay? Ang home office current naman, equity account yan. In fact, that's the only equity account in the books of the branch. Okay? Nag-iisang equity account yan si home office current. Gets? Why? That's because ang bumubuhay lang sa branch ay si home office lang. Wala nang iba. Okay? Malinaw tayo? That explains the reason why home office current is classified as an equity account. Okay? O basic journal entries tayo. Dapat alam natin kung paano natin i-journalize ang mga transactions ni home office at ni branch. Sige. Let's start with establishment of branch by transferring cash. Ano entrada sa libro ni home office pag nagpadala siya ng pera sa sa kanyang branch? Debit, branch current, credit, cash. Observe. Debit, branch current, credit, cash. Para siyang nag-invest. Tama? Eh, di ba sabi ko kanina? 
branch current is treated as a long-term investment account. Okay? Kaya para siya nag-invest dito. E ano naman ang nasa libro ng branch? What's the entry? Since si branch ang makakatanggap ng cash. Debit, cash. Credit, home office, current. Explain natin entrada. Bakit debit cash? Kasi nakatanggap siya ng cash. Bakit credit ang home office current? Kanino ba niya natanggap yung cash? Kanino ba galing yung cash? Di pa home office? That's why credit ka ng home office current. Yes? <clears throat> Next one. Shipment of merchandise by home office to the branch. Ano entrada ni home office pag nagpapadala siya ng inventory kay branch? Debit? Branch current. Credit shipments to branch. <clears throat> Kuha, bakit debit yung branch current? Kasi nagpadala ng inventory si home office kay branch. Therefore, para siya nag invest Bakit credit shipments to branch? That is because nabawasan yung inventory ni home office dahil pinadala niya to kay branch. E ano naman entrada sa libro ni Branch? Debit, shipments from home office. Credit, home office, current. Bakit debit, shipment from home office? Kasi nakatanggap siya ng inventaryo na galing kay home office. Bakit credit ang home office current? E kanino ba galing yung inventaryo? Kay home office, of course. Okay. Oh, last one. Purchase of merchandise from outsiders by the branch. Sino nakipag-transact? Branch. So, dito muna tayo sa libro ng branch. Ano entrada ni branch pag bumili siya ng merchandise from outsiders? Debit? Purchases. Normal entry. Credit? Accounts payable? Or cash? Depende na lang yan sa payment terms. Kung purchase on account, edi eh accounts payable, Pag pinurchase niya for cash, credit cash. Gets? E ano naman entrada ni home office? Answer, no entry. Walang pakialam si home office, hindi niya, hindi niya yung transaction. Klaro? Okay? So, these are the basic journal entries in accounting for home office and branch transactions. Okay? Yan lang. Diyan natin makukuha lahat ng mga kasunod na entries kasi. Alright? Clear? Next slide. CGS computation. Oh, sir, bakit may CGS computation? Hindi ba yan simpleng beginning inventory plus net purchases, less ending inventory? Answer, somewhat similar, pero kasi may dalawang components na katagdag. Okay? Tingnan niya. Dapat alam niyo kasi paano kinakompute ang CGS ni home office at ni branch. So, lagyan natin sila ng sarili nilang columns. Home office, branch. Okay? Let's start with beginning inventory. Pag may beginning inventory, eh di lagay natin. Next, net purchases. So, kung bumili sa outsiders, lagay din natin. Alright? Dito papasok yung panibagong components. Dalawa sila. Shipments to branch. Shipments from home office. Okay? Kaninong libro nakikita yung shipments to branch? Sa libro ni home office yan. Shipments from home office sa ang libro makikita? Kay branch. Kaya dyan lang sila magpapakita. Okay? Ano treatment? Shipments to branch? Bawas yan kay home office. Like I said earlier, mababawasan kasi inventory ni home office dito. Okay? Shipments from home office, dagdag yan sa inventory ni branch. Okay? Pag pinagsama nyo yan, makukuha nyo yun, cost of goods available for sale. Then, lastly, minusin na lang natin yung ending inventory para makuha si cost of goods sold. Okay? 
Malinaw. Bale, ito lang babantayan nyo. Yan. Yung dalawang yan. Sila lang naman yung add-on natin. Eh. Okay? Malinaw ba? Next. Accounting for branch plant assets. There are two methods in accounting for the plant assets by the branch. Number one, the records or the branch plant asset records are maintained in the books of the home office. This is method number one. While the method number two, branch plant asset records are maintained in the books of the branch. That's the method number two. Bantayan nyo ito. No? May impact kasi yan eh, pagdating sa journal entry natin. Okay? Sige. Then ito gagawin natin. Dito muna tayo sa method number one. Then pag natapos, doon tayo papunta sa method number two. Para makita niyo yung difference nila. Alright? Sige. Let's start. The home office purchased an equipment for branch use. O, method number one. Si home office ang may hawak ng plant asset records ni branch. Katandaan nyo, kung sino may hawak ng plant asset records, nasa kanya yung equipment account. Okay? Or any other plant asset account. But in this case kasi, gagamitin natin equipment. No? So, ano entrada? Debit, equipment sa libro ni home office. Dahil nasa kanya yung records. No? Next, sino bumili? Home office. So, credit, Sa libro ni Branch, walang entrada kasi lahat ng entries related to the purchase of the equipment ay nasa libro na ni Home Office. Yes? So, ito tatandaan nyo ha. Kung na kanino yung records ng plant assets ni Branch, nasa kanya yung equipment account. Okay? Next. The branch purchased an equipment to be used in its operations. Oh, since si home office pa rin may hawak ng records, kay home office pa rin yung equipment. Ay, sir, kahit hindi siya yung bumili? Yes. Kahit hindi siya yung bumili, sa kanya pa rin yung equipment account. Why? Nasa kanya yung records eh. Di ba? So, yan ang babantayan niyo dito. Eh, sino bumili this time? Si branch. Eh di, si branch yung magkikredit nung cash. Okay? Ano napansin nyo? This is a case of a split entry. Paano natin bubuoyin yung entrada sa libro ni home office at ni branch? Hindi natin pwedeng iwanan lang na ganyan yan. Di ba? So ano ang, ano ang ipapang bangga natin? That is the reciprocal accounts. Sa libro ni home office, credit mo yung branch per rent. Okay? Tapos, sa libro naman ni branch, debit mo yung home office per rent. Alright? Ganyan. Parang pampuno lang sila. Clear? Next. Depreciation. Ano ba ang entrada para mag-recognize ng depreciation? Debit, depreciation expense, credit, accumulated, depreciation. Tatandaan nyo ito. Ang magre-recognize ng depreciation expense ay kung sino yung gumagamit ng plant assets. Tapos, ang magkikredit naman na accumulated depreciation ay kung sino ang may hawa ng records. Okay? Sige. Sino gumagamit ng equipment dito? Si Branch. So, siya ang magde-debit ng depreciation expense. Sino magkikredit ng accumulated depreciation? Si home office kasi siya ang may hawak ng plan asset records ni branch. So, credit accumulated depreciation equipment. O, ganun na naman. Meron tayong split entry. Ano ang ipangbabangga natin? Reciprocal accounts. So, sa libro ni Home Office, debit natin si Branch Current. Tapos, sa libro ni, ni Branch, credit ka ng Home Office Current. Malinaw? Ganon palagi gagawin nyo. 
pag may split entry, reciprocal accounts ang ipangbabangga natin. Okay? So, method number one is done. Method number two, makikita nyo na yung pagkakaiba nila. So, ganun ulit. The home office purchased an equipment for branch use. This time, sino naghahawak nung plant asset records ni branch? Si branch. That's why, yung equipment ay nasa libro naman niya. Okay? Sino bumili? Si home office. Kaya siya yung magkikredit nung cash. Okay. Split entry na naman. Ano ang ipambabangga natin? Sa libro ni home office, magbabranch current tayo. Sa libro ni branch, home office current. Di ba? Nakuha ba? Next. The branch purchased an equipment to be used in its operation. Oh, since si branch ang may hawak ng records, sa kanya yung equipment? Sino bumili? Si branch. Nasa kanya yung pag-credit ng cash. Ano entrada ni home office? No entry. Lahat kasi ng accounts related to the purchase ay nasa libro na ni branch. Okay? Sige. Next. What about recording of depreciation? Palaging tatandaan, yung magre-record ng depreciation expense ay kung sino yung gumagamit ng plant assets. In this case, si branch pa rin. Debit, depreciation, expense. Na kanina yung records? Branch din. So, siya rin yung magkikredit ng accumulated depreciation. Sa libro ni home office, walang entrada. Okay? So, ito yung comparative entries natin sa dalawang methods of accounting for branch plant assets. Okay? Ayan. So, lagyan lang natin ang stars kung nasaan yung equipment account, ha? Para matandaan nyo siya. Okay? Ayan. You know? Okay. Oh, problem 2. Yung problem 2, hindi natin niya sasagutan dito sa ating lecture video. But rather, you will answer that on your own. The answers and solutions will be posted in our official Facebook group. Okay? So, sali kayo doon. Matali lang naman sumali since it is a public group. Na? Makikita nyo yung solution na itong problem under the guides tab. Okay? Sige. So, promise ha? Sagutan nyo on your own. Then, mako-confirm nyo kung tama yung ginawa nyo. Alright? Tapos, importante kasi makuha nyo kung paano yung gagawin dito sa problem 2. That, that is because, pagdating kasi sa next video natin, magre-reconcile tayo ng reciprocal accounts. Medyo maihirapan tayo kapag hindi nyo gets kung paano yung recording ng transactions sa libro ni home office at ni branch kasi. Okay? So, bago kayo manood nung, nung kasunod na video natin, dapat nasagutan nyo muna yung problem to. Okay? Sige. So, see you in our next video, guys.